We pray for Ukraine or Ureign. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com. Please visit suprememastertv.com. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visit suprememastertv.com. Barra inclinada schedule. Rancangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com. Slash kehadapan schedule. The Bezekwik Thousand Buddha Caves in China's Xinjiang region are covered in ancient Buddhist paintings many featuring flying saucers. UFOs in Historical Paintings, Part 2 of 2. Continue watching to find out more. For those concerned with improving their health, vegetarianism is now being promoted by many medical doctors who claim that this diet provides optimal nutrition and guards against many diseases caused by non-vegetarian foods. San Rajinder Singh J. Maharaj, Vegetarian The delightful and Romanian residents from the Balkans like to express gratitude with Haristo Multu, that's thank you so much in the Romanian language. Esteemed friends, I am Tose. The sincere and Romanian people send you a warm greeting and pray that your days be filled with divine love. Welcome to UFOs in Historical Paintings, Part 2 of 2. Investigations into UFOs or unidentified flying objects have achieved unprecedented public interest in recent decades and is perhaps as convoluted and shrouded in mystery as its subject matter. Independent scholars have maintained that a number of biblical stories provide evidence of ancient UFOs and extraterrestrial encounters. Swiss author Erich von der Nieken popularized the concept in his best-selling book Chariots of the Gods, Unsolved Mysteries of the Past. In the first chapter of the book of Ezekiel in the Bible's Old Testament, prophet Ezekiel explains seeing a great cloud with fire enfolding itself and a whirlwind coming out of the north, which contained four living creatures that have the appearance of men but also have wings and multiple faces. The creatures are said to be accompanied by a wheel that has another wheel within it. These wheels are said to move in any direction without turning. Some people have interpreted this vision as a description of an extraterrestrial graph or as evidence of ancient visitations by beings from outside our planet. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. South Africa is one of them. South Africa, Animal Protection Act of 1962. This law condemns infuriating and terrifying all animal people, except fish and wild animal persons in their natural state. Anyone convicted of animal folk, cruelty causing suffering is liable to a fine and or imprisonment for up to one year and up to two years for being involved in animal individual fighting. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test or for any reason at all. Be vegan, make peace, so be it. In the Biblical Book of Kings, Prophet Elijah, vegetarian, accompanied by Prophet Elisha, vegetarian, approaches the Jordan River. Elijah rolls up his mantle and strikes the water. The water immediately divides, and Elijah and Elisha cross on dry land to the eastern side. Suddenly, a chariot of fire appears, and Elijah is lifted in a whirlwind as he ascends into the heavens. 
Some people have interpreted this as a possible description of an extraterrestrial craft. In the book of Exodus, from the Old Testament, God leads the Israelites out of Egypt, guiding them through the desert and illuminating their way with a pillar of cloud by day and pillar of fire by night. These scenes were depicted in the 19th century artworks, Joshua passing the river Jordan with the Ark of the Covenant, a painting by British-American artist Benjamin West and English illustrator Paul Hardy's The Pillar of Fire. People have interpreted these columns of cloud and fire as possible sightings of UFOs or extraterrestrial phenomena. Vegan, favorite of heavens. Faithful viewers, let's pray that the planet may soon have lasting peace. We'll be right back here on Supreme Master Television. Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine. Welcome back to UFOs in Historical Paintings, Part 2 of 2. The Bezeklik Thousand Buddha Case in China's Xinjiang region are covered in ancient Buddhist paintings, many featuring flying saucers that are emitting flames around the Bodhisattvas. In Buddhism, the sacred Agama Sutras record messages from the worshipped Shakyamuni Gautama Buddha, vegan. The worshipped Buddha said that when the holy Chakravati or wheel-turning king and ideal universal ruler comes down to this world, a golden wheel with six other precious things will appear. Recounting one such instance, Buddha described the Chakravati's wheel as follows. A roundel of treasure or precious wheel suddenly appeared in front. This wheel was very bright and had 1000 spokes meeting at its center. Its sublime craftsmanship was reminiscent of that associated with the beings residing within the divine sky and was not the product of this world. Be vegan is to love God and His whole world in action. Sri Sita is a prominent figure in Hindu mythology and the Hindu epic Ramayana. According to the Ramayana, Sri Sita lived happily with Lord Sri Rama, vegetarian, in the kingdom of Ayodhya until a ruler named Ravana kidnapped her and took her to his kingdom of Lanka. Lord Rama, accompanied by his lawyer brother Lord Lakshmana and an army of monkey people led by Lord Hanuman, embarked on a long and perilous journey to rescue Sri Sita. In 2006, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, commented on this story. Uh, a legend in the story is like that. And what surprised me was that at that time it seemed like they already have UFO or something. Because in the story, it described that that guy came to kidnap her in the flying chariot. Mm -hmm. At that time, many thousand years ago, how we have any airplane? Unless, we, you see, at that time we were already civilized. As I have told you, we have been civilized before, and then we destroy, you know, the, the human destroy their own civilization, and then we we'll begin again for nothing. Yeah, unless it was a story of that time, you see what I mean? Or there's a UFO, you know, like an alien kidnapper. 
<laughs> yeah, because fly in chariot, you know, mm -hmm. in the sky, come and there yeah, and kidnap her and brought her up to the sky flying. <laughs> yeah, in Vietnam we also have that story about flying chariot. But people now they read it, they thought it's just a fairy tale, you know, so they didn't bother. But I, I don't think so. It might be true. It could have been an alien or there was a, a, another civilization, you know? Oh, we have been civilized at that time. In the medieval Sigiswara citadel of Romania, we find the 13th century church of the Dominican monastery. Within its sacristy is a fresco that shows a UFO-like image hovering above a building. UFO enthusiasts think the unusual disc proves that extraterrestrials have been coming to Earth for centuries. Nobody really knows when or who made this painting. The inscription written below the artwork says, Israel, hoffe auf den Herrn, which translates from German as Israel, put your hope in the Lord. Dutch painter Art de Gelders the Baptism of Christ from 1710 also stands out in terms of its UFO intrigue. The image of the precisely etched disc that emits perfect beams of light upon Lord Jesus Christ, vegetarian, at his baptism is quite unlike any of his other works. One notable piece of symbolism is a white dove, hovering directly below the disc, which in early Christian tradition represented the Holy Spirit. Since the time Ephorian romances began to appear in the Middle Ages, art depictions of the Holy Grail would often portray the sacred symbol emitting beams of light with a white dove. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more herding. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. In 2007, Master graciously shared with us some secrets about aliens and UFOs from her spiritual diary. Aliens exist. <laughs> Just now somebody, the journalist asked me about aliens, huh? Perhaps you didn't understand. Alien exists from other planets or are good for humans. The so-called bad ones are man-made for ulterior purposes. If aliens really wanted to harm us, they would have done so a long time ago. Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Yeah, and then the technologies they have, they just you know, with the technology they have, we would have no chance to survive if they wanted to harm us. They just visit for info, etc., like we do to the moon. Yeah, like we go to the moon to check out the moon. Oh, probably it's here. Governments have UFO 50 times faster than normal airplanes. Nothing compared to aliens. Within 10 years, we can have these two fly around. <laughs> and I, I joke to myself, group meditation will be more frequent. <laughs> <laughs> I have written that. <laughs> In recent years, it seems there have been many more UFO sightings. During a conference in 2010, Master kindly explained the reason for this. Yes. Recently, our planet is in trouble, you see, in danger, in urgency. So they always come to try to give the blessing or to avert some disaster, whatever they can, you see? Yes. Be it comet or, or earthquake or typhoon, without their intervention, we would have been done for, okay? Yes, Master. Uh, now they, they feel they could come more now also because of the urgencies of our planet, okay? Yes. Because now it's safer for them hmm? to let us see them. Also, now uh, we are more accepting of their presence due to information about UFO on the internet, in books, and governments help to release many of the UFO facts. Yes. So the people are more open now to their 
existence, so they feel more easy to come to help us. Okay? Yes. In any way they can. Yes. Right. Yes. They love us, no end. They love us, no end. They wish that we also as develop and as knowledgeable about moral standards like they are. Our deep gratitude, most compassionate Master, for these illuminating insights. May humanity soon unite in harmony and benevolence so that our planet and all her loving visitors may continue to develop in spiritual upliftment. Vegan leaders, they are the future. Luminescent viewers, thank you for your company today. Coming up next is Fennec Fox People, the Dainty Desert Darlings, here on Supreme Master Television. May you exult in the eternal grace of the Divine. Russia, go home. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven Godspeed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AJAR.